Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Okay, who knows what these things are? If you said TV flyback transformers, you're partially right. These three did come out of three junked TVs. This one came out of a computer monitor, but it's basically the same thing. In fact, there's the monitor I took that one out of right there. And I thought today, I'd use these to make some sparks, or at least try to. As you can see, on all four of these, I've wound some wire around the core. That's this black thing that comes out and loops around. I have no idea if this is going to work. This is the first time I've ever tried this. Hopefully I won't electrocute myself in the process. Over here, I have made my own driver circuit. Uses a 555 timer chip and a MOSFET and what should happen is that the 555 should produce a high frequency square wave and as that's connected to the MOSFET it should turn the MOSFET on and off and the MOSFET should pulse the primary of the flyback transformer and we should get some good sparks whether this will work or not I have absolutely no idea it will probably fry up the moment I turn it on but we'll see what happens now, don't ask me to give you any specifications on the primaries that I've wound. I've no idea how many turns there are. I just got some spare speaker wire and wound it round a bunch of times until I couldn't wind it anymore. Hopefully it'll work, but I really don't know. Everything is all set up. I'm going to be powering it from my homemade power supply. This cable here goes to the 555. And as you can see, this cable here comes from the positive of the power supply, goes into the coil I've wound, and that comes out and goes into the MOSFET and then goes back into the power supply. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Going to turn on now and see if we get anything. Hope I don't set fire to the house or something. But let's see what happens. Okay, power's on. I'm actually quite afraid to go anywhere near this in case I electrocute myself. Very grably, carefully grab the high voltage wire. And go past each of these pins and see if we get a spark. I haven't got anything yet. Oh, there was something. Oh, we got a little bit of plasma. That proves the 555 is oscillating. Which is a real miracle because when I was testing the oscillator earlier on to make sure that it was working, I connected the positive to the wrong pin on the chip, but it seems to have survived or it wouldn't have been able to do that. What I'm really surprised about is that this thing works at all. Now the spark's a little small, but I think that's too bad for a beginner's attempt. I might have the coil the wrong way around, because these things are polarised. So I'm going to try swapping that round, see if that does anything. Better discharge this. Because these do... These can still store a charge, after they, even after they've been turned off. The MOSFET's not even hot. Well, it's not even warm, it's stone cold. Anyway, I'm going to reverse these round. Because these things run on pulsed DC, not AC. According to what I found out about these anyway. Right, okay. That's the wires on the coil swapped round. I'm going to turn the power on again. 
Let's see if it does anything now. Oh, I've got a tiny little spark there. Probably can't see that on the camera, but do have a little tiny something there. Oh, got spark there, just a very tiny spark. In fact, they all seem to be sparking. Whoa! All right. That's more like it. I think I've got a corona coming off there, actually. Does anything else do anything? Well, that's looking promising. I've just been doing some little experiments. And I'm going to prove to you how hot this really is. Got a bit of cardboard here. And I'm just going to put it right next, right onto the arc. As you can see, it burns. Got a little bit of paper here. We got fire. Who needs matches? I've just tried the one from the monitor. And I can tell you this one is pretty darn vicious. I'm going to turn the power on now. But I'm just going to put the microphone where it's not going to arc to it. Okay. Power's on. I think I might be um, overdriving this one a bit, actually. It starts doing things even when I haven't got the wire really close to it. I see a little bit of arcing going on there. Can you see that? I'm not sure what voltage got out of that, but that's probably easily 20 kilovolts there, judging by the size of the sparks. I think this would be a perfect time to demonstrate that even with the power turned off, these things can still hold charge. If I hold the wire near one of the um, pins, you can see there, it sparked. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do a little mini Jacob's Ladder with this. Got a couple of wires connected up to the flyback. We'll turn it on. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's quite interesting. It goes up and down. Just another day at the office. Here's another one I ripped out of a TV. Let's see what this will do. Well, we've already got some up. We've already got some marking right there. I think I might have to remove this one from the circuit board. Let's test the fourth and final flyback. Right, here's the fourth one that I got. Let's turn the power on. See what happens. All right, getting lots of plasma arcs off this one, and it's arcing at the circuit. It's arcing at the PCB as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remove these from their circuit boards. Oh, look at that, burning the circuit board there. Mm, I smell burnt PCB. I see a little arc. Well, I've taken the circuit board off both of those now. You can see one of them on the bench. This is the other one. And seeing what kind of arcs I can get off both of them, it's about the same. This one's a bit, in, bit interesting because you can see the wires going into each of the coils. This one here appears to be the other end of the high voltage winding. 
and get an arc off that. And it arcs to the various different other coils. Well, something's going on there. Oh, we've got a corona there. I don't know if you can see that. Hmm, let's try and get that back. Nope, it's not going to come back, is it? Better just discharge it. So it doesn't kill me if I touch it. I'm still not happy with the arcs I'm getting off these. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be very stupid and I'm going to wire two of these in series. And see if it makes bigger arcs. Or if it kills me. Either way, it'll make a good video. I've got both these transformers wired in series now. Both the primaries are in series and the secondaries are in series. And still... Not much of an arc. I ain't having it. Where's my hammer? I now got the primaries connected in parallel. And the secondaries still in series. It's a little bit better. Still, not, not much of an improvement. Maybe about two centimeters at the most. Maybe that's just, maybe that's the most I can draw off one of those. Now I'm going to see if I can do a singing arc. Here is sing an arc attempt number one. Got my iPod wired up to pin five on the 555 through a couple of capacitors, of course. And I'm really not getting much out of it. Put them. It's very, very faint. You might be able to hear it if I put the microphone up to it. getting some sound out of it but it's very like I said it's very faint okay before my battery dies out I'm just gonna see if I can record it with the camera's microphone I'm putting the microphone right up to the arc the microphone is about five centimeters away from the camera lens you might be able to hear that I don't know if the camera will record it we are getting a little bit of sound out of it. Just need to find a way of making that arc bigger. Making the sound louder. Of course, the camera won't even focus on it. I have no idea if you can hear it. If I turn the power off. Actually. Let me just get something. Um, don't know if you can hear it. If I break the arc, you can hear the music stops. So you can hear a little bit of sound. You might be able to hear a little bit of sound coming out of it. Anyway, that's it for now, so until next time, goodbye.